Hello everyone, welcome once again. Now in this section we have an exponential equation over here. Now we have 6 to the power x being equal to 48. Then what, what of 3 to the power 1 minus x divided by 4 minus x equal to. So now what we are going to do is to use this formula just to determine this, right? So we have 6 to the power x being equal to 48. Now what we are going to do is... Um, to find x in this case is to um, apply log on both sides right so we are going to apply log on both sides but then it's going to be the log the log to big six right so we apply log apply log to base six right so that's what we're going to do so we apply log here basis we have six as here being equal to log of of six 48 over here all right so now from um, the properties of log x here goes to the front there so we have log of 6 6 here being equal to the log of 48 base x right now one properties of log is that if the base we have 6 here and we have to the base 6 we have the same values here it is equal to 1 so which means that in this case log of 6 base 6 yeah is just 1 being equal to um the log of 48 here yeah, and then base 6 right so basically we have x here is just log 48 here yeah, and then we have it to be 6 now what we are going to do next is to um change the base over here right in order for us to find x itself is to change the base over here so we are going to change um we are going to use the change of base formula so change of base formula right so using the change of base formula we have um so from here we have um so the formula just look like this we have the base a b and this here will be equal to um so something like this will be equal to um, we have the log of the base that we are changing which is base 10 over here and we have b over the log of c here a right so in this case since we have um s being equal to the log of 48 base 6 changing the base will basically be equal to so applying this to the whole of that right we are applying this to that and then we are just going to get the log of um 10 here then we have 48 over the log of base 6 and then we have 6 here right so what we just did was to change the base now from here what we are going to do is um we can then separate the whole of this now if we have um this a log like this right 48 here can be written as 16 multiplied by 3 and then also we have the log of 10 here then uh, for 6 we can have um, 2 multiplied by 3 here right now if you look at 16 over here we can write a uh, 16 4 to the power 2 it is basically 16 right or 2 to the power 4 so we can reduce this 16 here to um, the base 2 here right so we have log 10 here and then we can have um, just 2 to the power 4 multiplied by 3 here divided by um, the log of 10 here we can have 2 multiplied by 3 right okay so from here now if the log are multiplying what we can do is to add them right so we have the log of 10 here then we can have 2 to the power 4 plus um, the log of this 10 here 3 being divided by the log of 10 here right we have um, 2 plus the log of 10 here and then we can have 3 here right now from here what we are going to do is to um, cross multiply right so we can cross multiply in this case but then uh, before we cross multiply we 2 here come so comes in front here so log is 10 2 so we have 4 here sorry 4 comes to the front there right so we have that and then from there we have um plus log is 10 3 all over the log of 10 2 plus the log of 10 
and then 3 here. So from here we can cross multiply, right? So the whole of this multiplies x over here. So we have x log 2, it is to base 10. So let's leave it this way. Now s log um, 3 being equal to 4 log 2 plus log 3, right? Now this is what we have. Now what we are going to do is to group like terms, right? We are going to group like terms in this case. So we have um, log 2 here, we have log 2 here, we have log 3, log 3. So let's leave um, log 2 here. So we have log 2 here. This cross is become negative 4 log 2 being equal to, um, we have log 3, right? And this cross is become negative as log 3. So we have log 2, log 2, we can factorize it out. So we have s minus 4, and then we can have log 2 here being equal to. Um, so what we have here is 1 minus x here. Then we have log 3. Now, in a question, it says that we should find what. Um, so from the beginning, we said that we want to know what this is, right? Now, so we want to know what 3. 1 minus x here divided by 4 minus x is right. We don't know what this is, right? But then if you look at um, the values over here, we have 1 minus, the exponents over here, we have 1 minus x, which is this, and then 4 minus x, which is similar to this. So we have to do something about this. So which means that we have to take this to that side and bring this to this side. So um, let's write it this way, log 2, and then we have over log 3 here. And then we have 1 minus x here being divided by x minus 4, right? Now, this looks similar to the exponent over here. But then we have 4 minus s, but this is x minus 4. So what we can do is to multiply through by negative, right? So we have negative the log of 2 being divided by the log of 3 equal to, um, we have um, 1 minus x here, so we can just negative effect here so 4 minus x in this case right we are multiplying through by negative so this is what we have now it looks similar to that one so what we are going to do next is if um over here right we use the change of base formula right so we are going to take it back to um so we are going to work it in a reciprocal form so since we have we said that if you have log a b is basically equal to um the log of c b over the log of um we have um a here and you can, you can have c here so which means that um working it backwards then we can have um if we are working it backwards which means that comparing um the whole of that to that right that's what basically what we are doing so um bringing it back we can have um minus the minus is already there then we can have log so b here in this case is just um the two right and then a here a which is here right is just to the base three right so equal to the whole of one minus x here over four minus three now the question says that what is um we don't know this we don't know what this is right so which means that we are going to apply the same base to it right when we apply the same base to it then we can then find what this value is so applying the same base to both sides then we can have three let me bring this to this side so bringing that to that side then we can have one minus s over four minus x here being equal to three to the power negative log two base three right and that will be the value right so which means that 3 to the power 1 minus s divided by 4 minus s is basically equal to that, right? So we can have this for that. Now let's use another method. So let's use the second method, right? Let's use the second method to check whether we are right. So for the second method, we have 6 to the power being equal to 48 here, right? Now we can reduce this to um, 2 multiplied by 3, right? To the power x, right? Being equal to over here we can have um, 2 to the power 4 right multiplied by 3 here right so for me what we are going to do is that is to bring the like terms to one side so we have two bases on so let's bring this so we can write this as that 
2 to the power 4 and then 3 right so let's bring it to the other side over so bring it this to the other side we have 2 to the power 4 being equal to we have 3 here uh, being divided by 3 to the power x now wh why are we doing this we are still working towards getting uh this the exponent over here right so in this case what we are going to get is we are going to get um so we have um this can be written as s so this goes to the top there right and becomes x minus 4 since the bases are the same and over here we have 1 minus x right okay so from here remember we just want um 1 minus x this is what we are working towards we are working towards 1 minus x over 4 minus x right this is what we are working towards so in order for us to get this right which means that it is similar to that of this right so which means that we need 4 minus x um, at the denominator over here so what we can do is to multiply both exponents so we are multiplying both exponents right by 1 over 4 minus x here that's what we are going to do so we have 2 to the power s minus 4 here right be multiplied by 1 over 4 minus x now if you look at this equation over here it's just a reciprocal of this right we'll come back to that so now 3 1 minus x here be multiplied by 1 over 4 minus x right and then we are just going to get 2 to the power x minus 4 over 4 minus x being equal to 3 to the power 1 minus s here then minus 4 minus x in this case so you can see that now we have this over here right so which does it mean that this is equal to that since we want to know the value of this right now in this case in the, if you look at this formula over here if you look at the function so let's take f of s here being equal to the exponent s minus 4 over 4 minus x here now we want to define the function over here which means that s belongs to all real numbers but then s shouldn't be 4 if s equal to 4 then the function is undefined over here so which means that 4 it can be any value apart from 4 right now if you use any value like let's say we use 1 whatever value you put as s we are just going to get um being equal to negative 1 that's what we are going to get if we put 3 here we have 3 minus 4 which is negative 1 divided by 1 which is negative 1 right any value you put for the as the value of s apart from s not equal to 4 which means we are going to get negative 1 so which means that all of this is just equal to negative 1 so we have 2 to the power um, negative 1 here being equal to 3 to the power 1 minus x divided by 4 minus x right and this can be written as 1 over 2 here being equal to 3 1 minus x over 4 minus s now the question is does it mean the first value we had because um so this is what we have right which means that um 3 which means that 3 to the power 1 minus x here equal to 4 minus s being equal to 1 over 2 that's what we have for the second one now for the first part we have this right being equal to um 3 to the power um negative log 2 base 3 right this is what we had for the first one now does it mean this the answers here are different no if you solve 3 to the power negative log 2 3 you should get 1 over 2 that will be the answer so which means that the values of s that we've gotten over here or the value of this is this or that right so thank you very much for joining me in this section I hope this session was helpful. If you are new here, please like, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell to be notified anytime we post a new video. Thank you very much, and I will see you guys in another section.